Start going. Hey everybody, I'm Chris Carr, host of the Turkey Creek Snack Short Track Racing Show. Also on Facebook, the Southern Short Track Report. Just to like us and share us with your friends. We've caught up with Deep Dixie Racing tonight doing some interviews for those guys. So we want to give a big shout out to them. Also, we've caught up with Cat Daddy Clint Smith here at Sonoya Raceway tonight. How's it going, Cat? Oh, going, going great. How are you doing? Pretty good tonight. Uh, what do you think the racetrack is going to be as opposed to last week when we had a little bit of rough condition as opposed to this week where it looks like we got some sun out on the track? Yeah, the sun's the, the biggest friend right now. They, uh, last week it was kind of rainy and stayed cloudy and didn't get any wind and it just stayed wet and uh, just really, really fast. But it got, uh, it got kind of rough and choppy and this week I think they've uh, took precautions and, and uh, kind of dug it up this morning and let it aerate out and uh, dry and then they packed it back in and they've been applying water to it as they want to put water to it instead of Mother Nature. So I think we'll have a great race surface and uh, slow down a little bit. I hope so since i got a small motor tonight. So uh, hopefully we uh, got better luck this week than we had last week. Well, right there, ladies and gentlemen, Cat Daddy Clint Smith out here at Sonoya. We want to wish him all the best for Deep Dixie Racing. So uh, y'all tune in right there, like us on Facebook, and share us with your Better friends. catch up with Chris Smokey Madden right here out at Sonoya. Hey, Chris, from the last time you was here, as opposed to the weather today, what do you think the track's going to be like tonight? Uh, hopefully it'll be a lot harder and a lot slicker, you know, and the racing will be a lot better. I mean, the racing wasn't bad last time. Me and Jonathan put on a great show for the fans, but it was extremely fast. So um, I think it could be better, you know, if it slowed down some. So I think that's the situation we'll have tonight. Have you done anything different since the last time you was here? I know you've gone on running a couple of different races since then, but, you know, the track here constantly changes on this gumbo we got. No, I mean, uh, we change something every week and come back and try it, see how it is. But as uh, far as we have our baseline that we can get back to, and uh, it's been pretty good everywhere. Excellent. Well, that's it right there, y'all. Chris Smokey Madden right here at Sonoya Raceway. I want to wish him all the best racing. tonight. We've caught up with Tyler Millwood here tonight. And I know you've been out here before the Sonoya Raceway. What's your overall opinion on the new gumbo? Uh, well, I haven't been here when it's been slick like they've been saying it's been. The only time I've been here is when it's been hammered down. So hopefully tonight it'll be a little slick and we can do some racing. Yeah. Well, since the last time in the last race, the Ray Cook Series with here, have you had any chance to venture out in other different places to get better as far as to be better up there on the front? Oh, yeah. Uh, we raced Dixie Speedway two weekends ago. We lead, was leading and broke. So we've been real good and started fifth in the Luke Soil race at Boyd. So we've been had a real good season. And just looking for that win, I feel like we could have had it a couple weekends ago, but we just broke leading. So, but we're getting there. Yeah. Well, there he is right there, Mr. Tyler Millwood. Want to wish him all the best right here tonight from Deep Dixie Racing. Coming up some of the driver interviews, and I've run into my good buddy here, Magic Matt Dooley out of Brooks. Since you've uh, stepped up to super now over here at Sonoya and you've put in some laps, what's your thought process on that whole process from the limited car now up to the super game with these guys? No, oh, it's a lot different. You know, it's a big step. Uh, competition's obviously uh, better, so we're learning and just trying to log some laps and get better. Basically. Well, the, the racetrack here at Sonoya has thrown a curveball week in and week out. It's not been the same from the start of the season up to this point. What's your thought process on the race car as a whole being you're not picking up mud anymore, so you basically got the setup straight from the shop? Oh, we got a really good race car. You know, Rocket pr produces a good race car, and uh, the racetrack's been throwing us a lot of curves. It's been slit one week and rough and wide open the next. So uh, last week it was it was wide open fast, and we was good. So looks like tonight will be slick, so hopefully it'll be good tonight too. Well, there he is right there, y'all. That's Magic Matt Dooley out of Brooks, Georgia. Want to wish him all the best tonight from Deep Dixie Racing. Go get him, buddy. Let's uh, catch up with Joey Armstead right here, who's tonight running Mason Massey's car, Special Olympics. How you feel about that, bud? Yeah, I'm, I'm real glad they gave me the opportunity to um, go out there and drive it, you know, and especially for a great cause, which is what um, Special Olympics is. It's real great for all those kids and be able to get them out there and be active and it's just a really great program overall. Well, it's, it's one of those special nights. What do you what, what makes you so good here at Sonoya? You were one of those guys that didn't see the gumbo at all, but the minute you pulled out onto the racetrack, you're one of them guys who set fast time that night and also went on to win the race. Well, I think, I think the real key is to keep a free mind while you're out there on the racetrack because um, especially when it's new dirt, if you go out there with a certain mindset, you kind of have to free your mind and adjust to the new dirt instead of try, try to drive like the old dirt because it's definitely something that's a whole lot different. Here at Sonoya, the slick conditions seem to have thrown a lot of other guys really curveballs, but your team, not only y'all have y'all embraced it, y'all been literally some of the ones that have been dominating these races. Yeah, um, slick racetrack is something that um, it's, it's, it's a thing to be good at. It's what everybody struggles with, and um, it's, 
it's real key. That's what we try to focus on. The mud's usually something easy to drive in, but the slick is definitely something a good bit harder. And um, it's something we've practiced going around like tracks like Talladega and stuff like that. And we're glad to have a track that's slick here, so we can just keep getting better. It's it's all about being real smooth and being real soft on the gas pedal and um, just not spinning tires. So it, it's definitely a lot harder, but um, it's what makes good drivers. Well, there he is right there, the number 21, Joey Armistead in the limited late model division out here at Sonoya. Tonight, going to run Mason Massey's car for the Special Olympics of Georgia. Go get him, buddy. Thank you.